So, Ferris in Norway, one of the hottest topics in my Instagram inbox at the moment. <laughs> Last year, I made a video about how the ferries work here in Norway, uh, how you could pay for the ferry rides, the AutoPass deal, the ferry pay account, and um, yeah, all sorts of things. I just want to make a short update because I get a lot of questions about that um, video. And I was just recently made aware of that it is quite hard to make a AutoPass deal if you're a tourist coming and visit Norway. If you're not a Norwegian citizen, it can be really hard to uh, get the auto pass deal. A guy on Instagram, John Adam, thank you so much, made me aware that uh, to make an auto pass deal, you need to do an international bank transfer. They don't accept MasterCard. You need the IBAC number for the bank and you need the BIC or SWIFT code. And then you need a full address of the bank that the company AutoPass uses. So, and that is not information that you find on their webpage. So you really need to contact uh, customer support. And I'm quite amazed that I don't give you the possibility to pay in advance with the MasterCard. And because of that, it will be much harder to register the AutoPass account uh, if you're a tourist visiting Norway. And another thing that I was uh, made aware of recently because of a news uh, case here in Norway is that the ferry pay, if no, if you don't have a ferry pay agreement, you will get an invoice fee for every ferry ride you take and the f uh, the invoice fee is about 70 Norwegian krona that is seven euros and in some cases that is actually more than you pay for the ferry ride alone full price uh, I'm kind of amazed that this is allowed whatever you do just go into ferrypay.no create an account register your card to your vehicle and uh, every time you go into a ferry, they will take a picture of your license and uh, you will get uh, a withdrawal from your bank account directly when you are on the ferry. Another topic you guys ask me a lot about is how much does the ferry cost if you ride all the coastline towards North Cape? And because I live in the southern part of Norway, I'm not that familiar with the ferry prices and the f all the ferries up north. So I went into a Norwegian Facebook page and I asked around and did a little bit of research about the topic. And a guy called Steinar Haugli was so nice, he went through all his invoices for um, last year. And for all the six ferries up north, he paid 360 Norwegian krona. that's 36 euros. And, but that was without the invoice fee and uh, that was full price for a motorcycle. So it's not that bad. The ferry prices are quite cheap and uh, from 1st of July this year some of the ferries up north will be free of charge. I found this list online. It's not only the ferries uh, up north that will be free of charge. There are a couple of ferries around the whole Norway that will be free of charge after the 1st of July this year. Yeah, again, this was just a short little update because I get so many questions about the ferries and it's understandable. When I made the other video, I thought that the AutoPass deal was much easier to, uh, to register as a foreigner. So uh, I apologize for that. Uh, I just tried to cover uh, the most valuable information in this video. It's a short little update so people know a little bit more about why the situation is like it is. I would try to contact the AutoPass Faria and talk to them and see if there's uh, this is something they work uh, work towards uh, making a better system. For me, it's quite amazing that they don't have a better system for it. It's 2022, for God's sake. And as always, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.